Hello and welcome to Brainwaves. Today, we're taking a deep dive into the fascinating history of the internet. From its humble beginnings to the worldwide phenomenon it is today, we'll explore the evolution of the internet over several decades. The internet is now a part of our daily lives, but it wasn't always this way. So, sit back, relax, and allow us to take you on a journey through time to discover the history of the internet. The history of the internet can be traced back to the origins of the ARPANET. In the late 1960s, the United States Department of Defense created the Advanced Research Projects Agency Network, or ARPANET for short. The purpose of the ARPANET was to develop a communication system that would allow researchers and scientists in different locations to share information and resources. The ARPANET was funded by the U.S. government and was developed as a joint project between many different institutions, including universities and research centers. Building the ARPANET required the development of new technologies and systems, including packet switching and network protocols that would allow different computers to share information with one another. The early days of the ARPANET were focused on establishing the key protocols and standards that would underpin the network. And while the ARPANET was small at first, with just four initial nodes at universities in California and Utah, it would soon grow into a much larger network that spanned the United States and beyond. All of this laid the groundwork for what would become the modern internet that we know and use today. With the foundational technologies and standards in place, the ARPANET began to grow and evolve rapidly. The first nodes of the network were connected in 1969, and by the end of the year, the network had already expanded to include six computers at three different locations. By 1972, the ARPANET had grown to include almost 40 different nodes across the United States, connecting universities, research institutions, and government agencies. This expansion required significant technological innovation, including the development of key software and protocols to support the growing network. One of the most important innovations during this period was the development of email, which allowed users to communicate and exchange messages across different computers connected to the ARPANET. The early days of the ARPANET were defined by cooperation between different organizations and the development of shared standards and protocols, which helped to facilitate the growth and expansion of the network. The ARPANET was a major milestone in the history of the Internet, and it paved the way for the development of the modern communication systems that we rely on today. The ARPANET had a major impact on the development of the Internet as we know it today. The network pioneered many of the key technologies and standards that are still used by the Internet today, including packet switching, TCP, IP, and email. These innovations helped to shape the modern Internet and laid the groundwork for the creation of new technologies like the World Wide Web and e-commerce. In addition, the ARPANET demonstrated the potential of computer networks to facilitate collaboration and information sharing across different organizations, something that is now a fundamental part of the Internet's architecture. The ARPANET also helped to create a culture of openness and cooperation among computer scientists and researchers, which has been essential to the development of the Internet over time. Without the ARPANET, it's difficult to say exactly what the Internet would look like today. But one thing is for sure, the ARPANET was a critical milestone in the history of the Internet, and it paved the way for the development of the massive global communication system that we rely on every day. TCP, IP, or Transmission Control Protocol, Internet Protocol, is the standard communication protocol used for transmitting data over the Internet. TCP, IP is made up of several layers, each with its specific role in transmitting data, the lowest layer, the network layer, defines how data is transmitted across the physical network using IP addresses. The next layer, the transport layer, establishes and manages connections between devices and provides a reliable means for transmitting data between them. Finally, the application layer defines how different applications, such as email or web browsing, interact with the network. At each layer of the protocol stack, Data is encapsulated and formatted in a specific way to enable efficient and reliable communication between devices. TCP IP has been a critical technology for the development of the Internet, and its importance has only increased over time. Today, TCP IP is used by almost all Internet connected devices, from computers and smartphones to IoT devices and servers. 
As we continue to rely on the internet for more and more aspects of our daily lives, TCP IP remains a foundational technology that we're sure to continue relying on for decades to come. TCP IP was developed in the 1970s as a communication protocol for the ARPANET, the precursor to the modern internet. The protocol was created by a team of computer scientists and researchers led by Vince Cerf and Robert Kahn. Cerf and Kahn were tasked with creating a unified standard for communication over the ARPANET, which at the time, was using several different communication protocols. Their solution was TCP IP, a protocol that allowed different computers and networks to communicate with one another regardless of their underlying technology. However, Developing TCP IP was not an easy feat. The team had to navigate complex technical challenges and political obstacles to develop a standardized protocol that was accepted across the entire network. But despite these challenges, TCP IP proved to be a success, and it quickly became the de facto standard for communication over the ARPANET and later the Internet. Over time, TCP IP has continued to evolve and improve, with new versions and updates released to handle the ever-increasing demand for faster and more reliable communication over the Internet. Today, TCP IP is still used as the primary communication protocol for the Internet and is responsible for transmitting billions of bytes of data across the network every second. TCP IP has been a critical technology for the development of the modern Internet. It allowed for communication between different types of computers and networks and paved the way for the development of new technologies and applications. One of the most significant impacts of TCP IP was the development of the World Wide Web, which relies on the protocol for transmitting data. In addition, TCP IP enabled the development of e-commerce and online transactions, which have revolutionized the way we buy and sell goods and services. TCP IP has also been instrumental in the development of cloud computing, which allows us to access information and applications from anywhere in the world. Without the development of TCP IP, it's difficult to say exactly what the modern internet would look like today. But one thing is for sure, TCP IP remains a critical communication protocol for the internet today, and it will continue to play an essential role in shaping the future of the Internet and the technologies it enables. The World Wide Web, or simply the Web, is one of the most significant innovations of the Internet age. The Web was created by Tim Berners-Lee in the late 1980s as a way to share and collaborate on scientific research across different computer systems. Berners-Lee was working at CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, at the time and was frustrated by the difficulty of sharing information between different researchers and institutions. To solve this problem, Berners-Lee proposed the creation of a hypertext system that would allow users to navigate and link between different documents using a simple interface. This hypertext system became the basis for the web as we know it today. The web was built on several key technologies and standards, including HTML, HTTP, and URLs, which allowed for the creation and dissemination of information across the Internet. The creation of the web was a significant milestone in the history of the Internet, as it paved the way for the development of new technologies and applications, from search engines to social media. Today, the web is an essential part of our daily lives, influencing everything from the way we work to the way we communicate with one another. Since its creation, the World Wide Web has continued to grow and evolve at a rapid pace. In the early days of the web, websites were simple and consisted mostly of text and basic HTML markup. However, as the web grew in popularity, so too did the technologies used to create websites. CSS, or cascading style sheets, allowed for more advanced styling, while JavaScript enabled developers to create interactive web applications. The rise of search engines and online portals like Yahoo and AOL made it easier for users to find and navigate information on the web. The introduction of Web 2.0 technologies, such as social media, blogs, and wikis, drastically changed the way we interact with the web, allowing for unprecedented levels of collaboration and contribution. Today, the web continues to evolve, with new technologies like artificial intelligence, machine learning, and the Internet of Things IoT, transforming the way we access and consume information. 
The growth and evolution of the World Wide Web has had a profound impact on our society, changing the way we work, communicate, and engage with the world around us. The World Wide Web has had a profound impact on our society, transforming the way we live, work, and interact with one another. Perhaps one of the most significant impacts of the web is the democratization of information. Online databases, search engines, and social media platforms have made it easier than ever before to access information on virtually any topic. This has led to an increase in knowledge sharing and collaboration, as well as a broader understanding of different cultures and perspectives. The web has also transformed the business world, making it easier for companies to reach new customers and conduct transactions online. E-commerce has revolutionized the way we shop and do business, enabling us to buy and sell goods and services from anywhere in the world. Additionally, the web has enabled new forms of communication, from email to messaging apps to social media. These technologies have brought people closer together, allowing us to connect with friends and family members across long distances. However, the web also poses new challenges and risks, including issues related to privacy, security, and misinformation. As the web continues to evolve and shape our world, it is essential that we recognize both its benefits and challenges and work to build a better, more inclusive online community. The dot-com boom refers to a period of unprecedented growth and investment in internet-based businesses and startups in the late 1990s and early 2000s. During this period, a vast number of new companies were founded, with the goal of capitalizing on the rapid growth of the internet and the newfound possibilities it offered for e-commerce and online transactions. These companies spanned a wide range of industries, from online retailers and media sites to social networks and search engines. The dot-com boom was characterized by a sense of optimism and excitement about the potential of the internet with investors pouring billions of dollars into internet-based businesses in the hopes of profiting from their rapid growth. The dot-com boom had a significant impact on internet history, contributing to the development of many of the technologies and applications that we rely on today. However, the dot-com boom also had a dark side, as many companies were founded on shaky business models or fraudulent practices. Despite these challenges, the dot-com boom remains a significant milestone in the history of the Internet, paving the way for the development of new technologies and applications that have transformed the way we live our lives. The dot-com boom was fueled by a variety of factors, including the increasing availability of high-speed Internet connections, the rise of e-commerce and online transactions, and the bullish optimism of investors. The development of high-speed Internet connections, such as cable and DSL, made it possible for more people to access the internet and engage with online content, leading to a rapid growth in consumer demand for internet-based services. Additionally, the rise of e-commerce and online transactions made it possible for companies to sell goods and services directly to consumers over the internet, without the need for physical storefronts or intermediaries. This created new opportunities for businesses to reach customers across the globe, and investors poured billions of dollars into internet-based startups in the hopes of profiting from their rapid growth. The bullish optimism of investors was also a significant factor in the dot-com boom, as many believed that internet-based businesses represented the future of commerce and communication. This created a sense of hype and speculation that drove up stock prices and made it easier for startups to raise capital. However, when these companies failed to deliver on their promises, the bubble burst and many investors lost their fortunes. The causes of the dot-com boom were complex and multifaceted, but they ultimately paved the way for the development of many of the technologies and applications that we rely on today. The impact and legacy of the dot-com boom are vast and far-reaching. On the positive side, the dot-com boom paved the way for the development of many of the technologies and applications that we rely on today. It drove the development of e-commerce and online transactions, which has revolutionized the way we shop and conduct business. It also spurred the development of content management systems and the technologies that underlie modern web design. Additionally, the dot-com boom created an explosion of online content and a proliferation of online communities, which gave rise to new forms of social media and online collaboration. On the negative side, the dot-com boom also created new challenges and risks. 
Many of the businesses that emerged during this time were built on shaky foundations, and when the bubble burst, many investors lost their fortunes. Additionally, the dot-com boom contributed to the rise of speculative bubbles and investment fraud, which continue to pose risks to investors today. Despite these challenges, however, the dot-com boom remains an important milestone in the history of the Internet, paving the way for the development of new technologies and paving the way for the rise of the Internet as a transformative force in society and business. Social media refers to online platforms and tools that enable users to create, share, and exchange information and ideas in virtual communities and networks. Social media has become an increasingly vital aspect of our daily lives, serving as a primary means of communication, entertainment, and information sharing. The origins of social media can be traced back to early messaging systems and online forums, but the emergence of Web 2.0 technologies in the mid-2000s paved the way for the rise of social networking sites like Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. These platforms allowed users to create personal profiles, connect with friends and followers, and share content with one another. The growth of social media has been fueled by a range of factors, including the increasing availability of high-speed internet connections, the rise of mobile devices, and the increasing desire for instant gratification and online validation. Today, social media is an essential aspect of our daily lives, influencing everything from the way we communicate to the way we consume media and engage with public discourse. Since its inception, social media has grown and evolved at a remarkable pace, with new technologies and platforms emerging to meet the changing needs and desires of users. Early social networking sites like MySpace and Friendster paved the way for the rise of Facebook, which quickly became the dominant player in the social media landscape. Other platforms like Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat have also emerged in recent years, each with its unique set of features and applications. The growth of social media has also been facilitated by new technologies like mobile devices and streaming media, which have enabled users to access social media from anywhere at any time. Additionally, social media has played an increasingly prominent role in politics and activism, with groups and individuals using social media to mobilize and communicate with supporters. While the growth and evolution of social media have been marked by many positive developments, there have also been challenges and risks associated with these technologies, including issues related to privacy, security, and misinformation. As social media continues to grow and evolve, it is essential that we continue to reflect on these challenges and work to build a better, more responsible online community. Social media has had a profound impact on our society, transforming the way we communicate, consume media, and engage with public discourse. One of the most significant impacts of social media has been the democratization of information, with online platforms making it easier than ever before to access news and information from a variety of sources. However, social media has also been criticized for promoting an echo chamber effect, in which users are exposed only to viewpoints that align with their own. Social media has also transformed the way we engage with public discourse, providing a forum for users to share their opinions and engage in political activism and social movements. While social media has played a positive role in promoting these movements, it has also been criticized for promoting cancel culture and online harassment. Additionally, social media has transformed the landscape of business and advertising, with many companies using social media platforms as important marketing channels. Finally, Social media has transformed the way we build and maintain relationships, with many users relying on social media platforms to connect with friends and family members across long distances. While social media has brought many positive benefits to our society, it is also important to recognize and address the challenges and risks associated with these technologies. And that brings us to the end of our journey through the history of the Internet. From its early beginnings as a small government project, to the global phenomenon it is today, the Internet has fundamentally changed the way we communicate, learn, and consume information. It's hard to imagine a world without the Internet, and as we continue to develop new technologies and connect people around the world, it's clear that the Internet will continue to shape our lives in ways we can't even imagine. Thanks for watching, and we hope you've enjoyed our look back into the fascinating history of the Internet.